So Ryan, we're here to come on the show today and tell us about a little story about the Hittite god Topanu. Uh, care to share on that, buddy? Oh, yeah, 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 Topanu. <laughs> that guy. Well, well, anyway, I'm going to take you way back to like 1500 BC when Jesus was uh, killing the Romans or something. Uh, anyway, this this Roman guy, this Roman, or this Hittite guy, comes up and says, it's like, hey, why is the old man? Why are all the plants dying and the cows not making more cow babies? And then the old man says, he's just like, he's like, hey, I'm not that old. Uh, I'm only like 36 years old. Uh, for you, for your information. Uh, now, audience, uh, keep in mind that life expectancy back then was very low. Oh, I'm sorry, Mister Fancy Pants, with your your dumb tie and your suit. Why don't you please tell the story? Please tell the story for me. This is a fish damn story, buddy. <laughs> I'm very sorry, Ryan. Please uh, keep going on with the story. Okay. Okay, where was I? Oh, yeah, the old man. He says, well, there's this guy to love you. And one day, he's been a sour ass. And he's acting all pissed off. <laughs> and then he gets his shoes on the wrong feet, too. Man, my shoes are on the wrong feet. And now to love is even more pissed off. I think I'll blow out some steam in the woods. And so this jag takes all of the stuff that makes the plants for, uh, to grow, and he also <coughs> makes it so the cows and sheep couldn't pop out any more babies. That sounds like a, quite a predicament for the tight people. You bet your ass it was. So the sun god throws this, a huge banger for the other gods, uh, but wasn't enough food for everyone, and everyone's still hungry. So then the storm god, uh, Tartun, knows that Telepanu isn't there, and he's like, Where's my boy Telepanu at? The sun god takes an eagle and whispers all, to it all sexy like, uh, Go find Telepanu. Go search the mountains and stuff. And then he throws the bird out of the window. And then the bird comes back and he says, Oh boy, I can't find that guy anywhere. Well, did you look at, at the new CVS down the street? And of course he did because he's just a dumb bird. So the sun god throws him back out of the window. Uh, but they still can't find Telepanu. You okay there, Ryan? And I just wanted to get the view of the room from this angle. Okay, uh, well, uh, let's get back to the story then. Uh, we were at the mother goddess, uh, Nintu. Uh, yeah, Nintu, she, she's a pretty foxy lady there. Nintu, we can't find Telepanu anywhere. You gotta help us find him. Uh, cause if you don't, uh, we're all gonna starve. Because he's a prick. Took all the good veggies and the, the tasty meats. Uh, calm down, you ninny. Uh, I got this real cool bee that's gonna be like stinging him awake. Ah, uh, yeah, and uh, it'll put some wax on his eyes as a prank. <laughs> He's not gonna be able to see nothing. Ha! <laughs> so this bee goes and stings the crap out of the left and spreads wax all over uh, T's eyes. This wax is gonna show this dangus to prevent cows from banging. Uh, Telep was then like, oh man, now I'm really angry. Uh, I'm gonna go ruin some more shit. Uh, so he went and flooded a bunch of villages, like a total badass, I, I might add, uh, which killed dozens of people and like four cows and maybe like five or six sheep. Now, uh, Ryan, are those approximate numbers? No, you idiot! The Emancipation Proclamation is a different story! <clears throat> hey, where was I? Now the gods are freaking out saying, what are we gonna do? Uh, he's all mad, we're still hungry. Uh, so they get the healing goddess to fix him, uh, along with this little wizard guy with a sick afro. Uh, like the ones in Clash of Clans. Anyway, the healing goddess starts chanting, <clears throat> You so angry, you so fat, what the heck is up with that? And then the little wizard guy, he starts saying some crap about, uh, Throw your anger out the window and, and, and tell Satan to go to, to hell. Or wait, maybe he's sending his, his pissy attitude to hell. Uh, who cares? Stop being a prick. El Kazam. Then uh, Telepanu wasn't angry anymore, and things were pretty good. So Telepanu went back to his house uh, on the prairie, and he said, Ah, what the heck, this ain't so bad. And he let the cows and the sheep bang again, and the plants had plenty of fertilizer to help them grow. Uh, not the, the organic kind, the good kind, not that Monsanto glyphosate bullshit. Uh, then everyone's happy again, uh, especially the gods. Well, Ryan, uh, that was certainly an interesting story. Uh, thank you for coming on to the show. 
And the pleasure was all your mom's. <laughs> insane it's like a lot of stuff i didn't even know about that look at that